Understanding the ultimate cause of the palestine eocene thermal maximum represents an unresolved problem. The mechanism must explain the large input of greenhouse gas that contributed to the warming, as well as the significant negative carbon isotope excursion. Currently, there are four candidates. The first is the dissociation of gas hydrates, or clathrates, from underneath the ocean floor. Clathrates are molecules of ice and methane that are trapped at high pressure underneath the seafloor. If somehow these molecules are exposed to atmospheric pressures, they rapidly dissociate and potentially deliver large quantities of methane to the atmosphere. The second mechanism is the intrusion of coals via dikes and sills upon the rifting of the North Atlantic Igneous Province. These coals and intrusions are found next to one another in places such as Greenland and Norway. Intrusion of the coal via hot material could deliver a lot of methane to the atmosphere. The third mechanism is the destruction of large amount of plant material via wildfires. This also has the potential to deliver large amounts of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Finally, the fourth mechanism is the melting of permafrost. Permafrost will deliver large amounts of methane to the atmosphere once it is melted. And this also can explain both the carbon isotope excursion as well as the warming during the Palestine Eocene Thermal Maximum. Ultimately, we will need more evidence to determine which mechanism can explain the event.